big satellite, you're thinking something the size of a car or bigger. It's a, the size of a loaf of bread, and that's our satellite. There's been some evidence that lightning produces gamma rays, and this is really the first satellite that's going to go out and investigate uh, if and how and where and everything associated with uh, gamma rays coming from lightning. There's been evidence, and others have seen this, but again, there's never been a satellite dedicated looking at looking down at Earth for these terrestrial gamma ray bursts. We want to make artificial signals similar to lightning and see what the board does, make sure it's filtering those signals the way we want. We're going to put it into HDL code and then get it through this. Generator. One of the tenets of the CubeSat program is to involve undergraduate students at all levels, from design to uh, building to some of the theory, data acquisition, every aspect of this. So we're really training here the next generation of space scientists, of satellite engineers. As soon as the launch goes up and they know they're a part of that satellite and data's coming in, I mean, that'll be with them throughout their life.